Hello and welcome back to programming with C++. Today, we'll be looking at the do while loop. Um, we see that um, the do while loop is like the while loop, but the condition is checked after the code is executed, ensuring that the code is executed at least even once in the condition is false. So, um, for the other loops, uh, we establish the fact that the loops continue to execute as long as the condition is true and terminate when the condition gets to be false. But for the do while loop, what happens is that even if um, the condition turns out to be false, the code is executed at least once. Yeah. So um, this is the syntax for the do while loop. You say um, the do, keyword do, followed by um, the body of the code. So you could have C out and then and probably the update uh, I plus plus or I minus minus. Then the record close followed by the while keyword and then the condition to be checked. So, and these are the key points that um, you still have to get in mind. Initialization where we set up a variable from the start and assigning a value to the variable. So you have the condition um, being um, the state or the current state of uh, the variable. And then you have the updates which uh, basically could be uh, increment or decrement. So let's get practical on our dev C++ ID. So let's, um, before we go to the do all loop, I want us to look at the while loop and then look at the do all loop. What happens is so, with the while loop, we see that the syntax is we first uh, initialize a variable. So let's say I is equal to one. And you say while followed by the condition I is let's say less than or equal to 10. by the body of code if you say c out i and line then let's say i plus plus here okay so let's compile and run this and let's see what happens so here we have the values of i one two three okay so this is um uh, what we can see here is that um because um the value of i currently at uh, this state it's less than and then equal to 10. It keeps on um, printing out and then uh, updating itself. So first, what is happening is that first we initialize the variable of i to be equal to one. And we say that um, whilst uh, the condition i or the current value of i is less than or equal to 10, it should continuously um, see out the value of i. So currently it sees out one, it increases i by a value of one. So here we have i equals to, is it less than or equal to 10? If yes, it sees it out. So you have two here. So we, i is increased by one again. So i becomes three. It checks um, this i less than or equal to 10. If the condition turns out to be true, it sees it out, then increases the value of i again. So it continues, it checks um, for the three so increases to four, checks. It's so less than or equal to 10, it goes back. So when it gets to 10, now um, the condition uh, it turns out to be true. We, it can't move to 11 now. So then uh, it says it's false, it terminates. So um, on this, look at the do or look. Um, so um, this is basically um, what happened. You say that you just need the do here. Okay. Then let's cut this let's kind of within here okay so the con the the body of the code comes here let's get away let's let's get away this okay so this is how the do bar works so the do we going buy the body of the code and then while with the condition here so let's compile and let's see how that's okay so that's the same thing but um there is um Something that I want us to look at the difference between the do while and then the while loop. So let's go back to our S. Let me undo the changes. Okay, so for the while loop, let's change the value of one to be negative two here. Let's see what happens. So as such, um, let's see, let, let me make it let me make it 11 here. So the condition is going to turn out to be four since. Um, the i has a value of 11, which is 
go eat and I'm going to go to them. So let's see what happens here. A moment we come back and run. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Let me get rid of this. So you guys come back and So what happens? I realize that nothing executes. Okay, because the condition is false. Because here, I is 11, which is greater than, uh, yeah, which is greater than, and then it's not equal to 10. So, as such, the condition is for so nothing is kids. So, that is for the while loop. But for the do while loop, you see that even when the condition is false, it executes the code once. So, let's change this here. Okay, let's bring this here. So, let's say, let's say do. Let's say do. That this. So can everything here. Let's just place it here. And then we have height to be level. So this will have this component. Right? So you realize that for the dual loop, even though the condition is false here, it still executes once. Yeah. So that is the difference between uh, the for loop and the dual loop. So let's try the examples of the dual loop. Let's look at um Pointing out the numbers from, okay, let's try by the numbers from 1 to 10, 10 to 1, then the sum of all the numbers. Okay, so all we just need to do is do this here. Okay, so let's compile and run. So um, this, we initialize the value uh, of i. So it says that do this when this condition is true. So it's going to see out so that is the body of the code is going to see out the value of i and it's going to increase it by one so let's go on that let's see okay so we have this okay let's try this out so let's say i first then i equals 10 here so let's let's this so eight that down but um, I don't want to touch it. It had making a mistake. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. That's supposed to be a different one. So minus, minus. Let's go on that one. So yeah, then tonight. So let's see how the numbers here. So let's change this to I plus plus. They're writing a program that is going to calculate the sum of the various. So, so let's introduce a variable named sum close. So, sum close zero. Okay. So let's say sum less close. All right. So what happens here is that then we would have um, the value of i. Okay. So basically, it's going to add. It's going to increase the, the value of sun. Yeah, so what is happening is that the value of i here is going to be um, saved in the variable sun. So let's come here. Let's say c out the sun. Okay, we got to. Say M line. Okay, think says this less this. Let's see, okay. Can see you. Okay. Okay. Things they have the same problem again. Okay, it's a problem with the problem is my initialization. So, since you want to print out the sum of numbers from one to ten, it's supposed to be one, and then um, you see, okay, oh, it's supposed to be less than that equality. Then, okay, so let's compound it. Let's see that. So, this actually, um prints out the sum of the numbers here. Okay. So this first is ours one, two, three, and a sum is a sum of all these numbers here. So that is it for the 
um, dual loop and then the difference between the dual loop and the for loop. Thank you very much.